What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm at Overland Expo Mountain West in Loveland, Colorado, just north of Denver. And we got a couple faces you might recognize. Hello. Introduce yourself to the world guys and hey, let's guys. just talk about your stuff. Hey, it's Arnold, uh, Arnold Baker with Overland Explorer Vehicles out of uh, Alberta, Canada. Right on. Hey, I'm Ken with BBO Adventure Vehicles and we're in Frederick, Colorado. So you're local. Yeah. We're local. You didn't have to go very far. Yeah, about 25 minutes away. Yeah, nice. Ken, and, Ken and his business partner Matt are, are one of our dealers. Nice. We've got so seven dealers down in the States now. So we're, It's we're been a place. couple years since yeah. I saw you guys because yeah. of uh, what happened last year in 2020. So we got a lot of, we got to get up to speed on what's going on we with you We've made some changes. We've made some mm. big changes. A, we've added dealers. So now we've got like seven dealers in the USA. Still factory direct in Canada for all your Canadians. Um, but we've added a mid-sized camper, a pop-up camper. We've got our Camp X, which we've gone through front to back, top to bottom, and made a lot of changes to it. This tray is what we designed to carry the flatbed mm -hmm. HB. So the tray comes in two lengths, 6.75 for 6.75 bed replacement. Let's get up close on this thing. Or an eight foot uh, bed replacement as well. Nice. So our HBE comes in two versions, 6.75 or 8 foot. They're the exact same floor plan from front wall to back wall. The 6.75 and the 8 foot are 8 feet long. But nice. to make up the 8 feet for the 6.75 foot bed replacement, we had to do the kick out at the back to get mm -hmm. that 8 feet. Thing. So it's uh, worth a look. It's, it's, it's a really interesting concept. Um, it's got a side entry door and uh, it's got all the good stuff. Just like the Camp X, Altruma, mm -hmm. Vario Heat, Aquago, uh, Red Arc, Manager 30, all the good stuff. 164 liter fridge in the uh, HB, which is killer. So, nice. Um, and then of course batteries, you can do whatever you want. You can, everybody's got their own, gun mm -hmm. down every different rabbit hole on batteries. So sure. it, it's really up to, uh, there's, there's so many good choices out there nowadays. Look at these brackets. I mean, they're just insane. This one's a flatbed model. It's just, I mean, if you want the most toughest truck camper ever built, I don't think you can beat these guys. That's insane. Got some storage boxes in the back, uh, Zargus boxes. There's a ladder to get to the roof. Extraction tracks, full size spare, Alu cab, 270 awning which is coming in handy right now in this hot sun. Check out the size of the steps. I've never seen steps this beefy. I mean, it's just crazy. They got these uh, cargo rack kind of mounting points. A door with a screen. It's a pretty beefy screen too. And then you gotta watch your head coming in, but nice floor, by the way. Nice. East-West dinette. You could probably fit four people if you really squeezed in there. And a nice vent up there. Lots of ventilation in here. There's your queen size bed up front. Sink, hot water, cold water. Two burner stove. And you got your fridge. Nova Cool fridge, a bunch of storage, pots and pans, and then let's see what's in here. What's in here? More storage. And there's a toilet. Is that a toilet? Oh, is that a toilet? Oh, cool. And for the guys that may not know, you know, why would you want to go with this? This tray specifically is because you just get a lot more utility out of it right oh wow so yeah. in the pop-up camper market the one thing lacking is storage yeah right storage yeah. storage storage the nice thing about these i mean you've got the you got the under tray boxes you got four of them that come standard with the tray and then if you've got the slide in version the camp x then you can actually add these x boxes nice What's really nice about the Xbox is if you got skis, you got doors at the rear, you got doors on the side, lots of storage. storage oh, I didn't, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, you yeah. have a door here too. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, let's take a look. Let's show them what it actually looks like. I see. 
large storage all the way to the back here. Yeah. We have a generator here, so it goes all the way to the front. So you can put your skis and snowboards in there. Nice. Just unlocking that at the door. That is actually really cool. I like yeah. that. So this one, and there's gaskets too to keep the dust and the water out too. Right? Exactly. They wear Thanks out. You just you just re, you just put on new Come gaskets. On easy no big deal. The front one has an ARB dual air compressor that we mounted. Yeah, that's a dealer install. We don't. Yeah. That doesn't come standard. Gotcha. Yeah. But the L-Track does. Uh -huh. L-Track on the side does. Um, whether you got the diesel or or gas, so you've got your def fill. Mm -hmm. uh, so in the in the headache rack, the headache rack is interesting because on the other side there's actually two doors. There's a door up here and a door down here. They're both lockable, mm -hmm. so they're just for storing gear. Um, I think shower pouch has got some mat tracks mm -hmm. up inside here, and then on the bottom part, our ladder, our, our folding steps actually. Mm -hmm. I love how every little square inch is taken up. That's nice. So check this out. Did, these are our folding stairs. So for 2022, what we're going to have for the Camp X, and uh, these guys don't even know this yet. I've been waiting for you to show up so I can say this. <laughs> yeah. So for 2022, for the Camp X, if you just got, if you, if you got a, you're not going with the train, mm -hmm. we're going to have this as an option, and it's actually going to fold out right behind the door. Oh, nice. On the exterior. So, so when you're traveling, it kind of like secures everything too. Yep, right. exactly, exactly. Right. So you can pin it, you can lock it. Mm -hmm. uh, these stairs, what's really nice about these stairs is the powder coating. It's um, it's made up of, it's, it's, a, it's a polyester powder coat, but it's also infused with glass and rubber. So that's what, you see that sparkly, it's all yeah, glass. I can feel it. It's you can kinda, exfoliate, yeah. you can take your socks off and exfoliate yeah. your, uh, your, your feet with it if you want. It's like a, a 30 grit sandpaper. Exactly. <laughs> but it's, so if your feet yeah. are wet, you got a little yeah. bit of mud on them. You don't have to worry about slipping Exactly. Off. So our ladder's the same way, right guys? So yep. on our HB, anywhere you're putting your feet, we use the same product. I like that. So this is very lightweight. It's all aluminum. Mm -hmm. And it's, a, it's our own product that we manufacture. This one also has a slide-out drawer. So you're able to store away cer certain items under there. Love it. And then you've got a little lock on the side. And the camper itself, man. A lot of changes since you last saw it. So let, let's start from the outside and then okay. work our way in. Because uh, I don't remember seeing these. I, I don't remember well, seeing those. Uh, yeah. So again, our dealers, at our dealers request to come up with molly racks. Mm -hmm. So you make these in-house, get an option uh, for driver's side and passenger, passenger side or one or the other, doesn't yeah. matter. Roof racks, uh, most of the Camp X's, HB's come standard with the L-Track up on the roof back oh, I see and front yeah and then our own aluminum uh, roof racks mm -hmm. which are eight inches high so it's good for canoes right nice Keeps everything up nice and tall is that a different color too it is the softwall is different now so yeah. we used to we used to use the uh, vinyl softwall mm -hmm. we're not big fans of the vinyl mm -hmm. too much condensation so so what is that this here it's a fabric by Top Gun and it's got the highest UV rating of any marine exterior fabric on the market. Nice. Okay. So it still requires some maintenance, like yeah. your stitching. Uh, we're just doing a bunch of testing on some different products, like uh, some nanotechnology, mm -hmm. uh, some other silica-based, uh, um, uh, silicone-based sealants as well mm -hmm. for your threaded areas. But every year you should be recoding the exterior of your soft wall. Mm -hmm. We've got all that information on our website, and all gotcha. of our dealers have contributed that information as well. But our, cool. everything's changed here. So our, our, we're on our Gen 4 walls now. Mm -hmm. So these are our proprietary design. It's their wet layup, gel coat, mm -hmm. both sides. We refer to it as Corvette finish. This is, uh, they're a fantastic wall, Gen 4. What we've done is you've got, you've got gel coat, then you've got polypropylene honeycomb, mm -hmm. then you've got the foam core. The foam core, this is exciting, PT, made out of Recycle water bottles. Wow. So we're repurposing water bottles, which is really exciting. Yeah. So good for the environment. Then going to the inside or the outside, mm -hmm. then it's just polypropylene again, and then the gel coat finish again. So, nice. But we use different, we use three different composites in our builds, mm -hmm. and that's all standard. So our floor is inch and a half gel coat, polypropylene honeycomb, because we want structure. We're looking for structure. We're not looking yeah. for thermal. We're not looking for sound attenuation like we are in the walls. We want that strength. We want yeah. the strength. Yeah. Here we got a little bit of that with the polypropylene, the honeycomb, even our foam as a honeycomb element too as well. Oh wow. It's really cool. Like right now, for example, like if you put your hand 
on this, this is all aluminum, right? Uh huh. You put your hand on that, it's hot. Yeah. You get the question, oh, can I do a colored camper? Put your hand on here. Aluminum, as you oh, know, yeah. has a very high thermal mm -hmm. um, uh, transfer, uh, heat transfer efficient, uh, um, uh, coefficient. So it really transfers heat really, mm -hmm. really well. So, but if you put your hand on the composite, it's cool. If you yeah. put your hand on the the, exo, the um, exoskeleton here, the aluminum, it's also cool. It is. And yeah. Your hand on yeah. There, it's hot, <laughs> right? So this is why we do what we do. That's we nice. Want different thermal cycling between different materials mm -hmm. because we want this to last for 30 years. Right? Yeah. So we don't want to compromise anything. Um, our exoskeleton, 5052 aluminum powder coated. Mm -hmm. So for this is really cool. So for every inch every lineal inch whether you're going up horizontal whatever you've got nine square inches of bonded surfaces so what does that mean so when we did all of our adhesive testing our adhesive so on 12 inches one inch by 12 inch it takes between 6400 and 6600 pounds to pull that apart now start wow. doing the math here for every lineal inch we got nine square inches of adhesive so if this comes apart, you've been in a bad accident. Right? I was just going to say, really uh, your adhesive is stronger than the, the structure exactly. itself. Yeah. 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 And it's just, you know, adhesives are like a, a metal weld. It never oh. fails at the, at the weld or mm. at the adhesive. It's right beside it. Yeah. So, because it's just so damn strong. That's amazing. So, but um, we're, we got Aquago, Truma. Mm -hmm. Truma equipment now. So it, the Truma Aquago continuous hot water. Mm -hmm. We've got the Truma Vario heater for the interior heater. Just sips propane. Both of these are very efficient. Nice. Uh, made in Austria. Good products. Um, there's the exhaust and intake for the Vario heat for the inside cabin. Then going forward, shower. Uh, just your external Sigi. shower. Sigi, yeah. or everybody also refers to them as bullfinch, more mm -hmm. commonly known, but it's actually Sagi. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I might get this wrong, but I'm going to say it anyways. <laughs> I think they're made in Israel. So, multiple uh, water uh, sink discharge. So, you can, it's just a hose connection, mm -hmm. run a hose to a bucket, run a hose out. Yeah. You gotta do. yeah. Then, Inside this cabinet is your uh, propane. Yeah, so yeah. down in the US, what do you guys prefer? This is 20, we call it 20 pounds. You guys, 20 pounds? Go, you guys go by gallon, I think. So this would be five gallons. No, I've, I've seen guys call them by oh, five okay? pounds too. Okay. Yeah. So it's a, it's a marine yeah. uh, horizontal tank. Gives us a little more room inside. Mm -hmm. uh, up top, portable solar connection. Yeah. Um, and then your shore power connection. Mm -hmm. These two brackets right here are for your exterior shower. So like oh. an cab, uh, shower cube. I think that's or, new then, because I don't remember seeing that. That's new. Yeah. Yeah, that's new. So uh -huh. uh, those, those come standard on the camper, uh -huh. um, both the, the mounts and the adapters for. Mm -hmm. they're, they're universal adapters, so they'll work with not just LU cap, they'll work with other stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so our roof, gas strut assist. The hinges are same as before, they're spring-loaded, so mm -hmm. they'll, they'll assist on the up and down as well. Nice. Uh, up top, you can see there's a white extension up there. That is our solar panel. So our optional solar panels are 200 watts. Mm -hmm. So you can actually, you know, on a, on a Camp X, Camp M, you can throw on a couple 200 watt solar panels. You can have yeah. ample solar panels. You don't have to like worry so. about your fridge, you don't have to worry about no. your power, your batteries. No. They're all, always topped off. Yeah, all topped that's off. nice. All that's a good off. feeling. When yeah. you're 200 miles in the backcountry, you don't have to exactly. worry about it. Yeah. So what, what you're looking at right here, uh, this is a BBO uh, rig. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of the owner's rigs, uh, personal rigs. Mm -hmm. So they had a customer that said, hey, um, I love your Camp X, I've got one, and I really like your tray, mm -hmm. and I need more storage. What can you do? And so he talked us into building these boxes. <laughs> we refer to them as the Xboxes. As the Xboxes. So, um, it, the, it, the tray itself brings this its next level in terms of storage. Yeah. Right? It's, it's really, really nice. And then, should you want to upgrade in the, in the years to come, mm -hmm. you've already got the tray. Mm -hmm. You can upgrade to our HP, take the boxes off, mm -hmm. and sell those, and there you go. Anything on the other side? We've got a big window. Oh, nice. That's new. So that's a dual pane window? Dual, dual pane acrylic. Yeah. Pull up line, pull down screen. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So, and I've said this many times in my other videos, I like how it pops out. Yeah. So you can still get fresh air even if it's drizzling. So yeah. when you're inside, that gives you, you're not able mm -hmm. to look 
you're able to look down and out, mm -hmm. but it's really nice. You get that yeah. you get that cross breeze in there. Mm -hmm. It's really, really quite nice. And of course, just like with all the windows, you can lock them open so they just open a crack. So if you're in travel mode, yeah, just letting a little bit of air into there. So yeah, I like it's that. Really nice. But going in, just as our our walls are soft or insulated, as are our soft walls, and that comes standard. That is not an option. So nice. you got you got your nylon on the outside, and you got an insulated material on the inside at the core. And then on the inside of the camper is a, a fire rated canvas. So mm. even the window coverings that are all Velcro, that is all insulated as well. So mm. it's quite nice. Okay. Going into the camper. Yeah, I've seen some other I've seen some other campers where that's a uh, you have to pay for that as an upgrade. That's right. Yeah, this is that's nice that it's standard. That's right. So another thing, on the top of our camper, there's an aluminum extrusion that runs this whole perimeter all the way around the top of the wall. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's a thermal path. So if you, you're going to get some condensation in that. So what we've done is we've used a product, a foam product that is fire rated as well. Mm -hmm. You can actually take a flame to this. Oh wow. Hold it here. It will smoke, but it won't. It will, actually won't catch. Mm -hmm. So very safe but what this does interrupts that thermal path no condensation our nice. roof extrusion has the same issue because it's a wraparound extrusion in our roof so we've applied a thin layer of the uh, of the foam as well there as well so it, it takes care of that um, our countertops and our table this is the only wood you're gonna find in our campers oh I didn't even know that was wood yeah wood. Yeah, it's surface. A, yeah, it's a diamond finished. Uh, it's, it's a little more robust. It, it's a little more scratch resistant than anything else that we were able to find. Um, we're hoping uh, for 2022 that we'll actually uh, be going to bamboo on both surfaces. Nice. Yeah, to get a little more earthy feel. Yeah. Give a little yeah. more color. Because one thing we're guilty of, everybody says, uh, you got a very laboratory feel <laughs> to your campers. But um, we're okay with that. But, yeah. Um, it's a tough look. Exactly, yeah, <laughs> yeah. because it is tough. Yeah. Um, Suburban two burner on this one. Mm -hmm. Our Camp M has a portable, uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the ability to go portable with your stove inside or outside. And of course the um, sink uh, with the glass lids. Lots of storage underneath. Yep. Your propane tank is under here, as are your electronics. Mm -hmm. Red Arc Manager 30 comes standard. Mm -hmm. Red Arc Manager 30, uh, for those that don't, any, don't, don't know anything about the Manager 30, the 30 is, stands for the amount of amperage that you're dealing with. So shore power uh, from your alternator off of your, off your uh, truck camp, or your truck itself, or solar. Red Arc always looks for solar first. So great product, very efficient, works fantastic. Nice. Coming down to our control panel, right here. So our control panel is your Red Arc. There's the Truma. Yeah. And then if you were to elect to get the optional, um, uh, an optional uh, inverter, then this is where you mount that controller. There's your Vario heat. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Inter that interface is clean. It is clean. <laughs> but that's the way we like to do it, yeah. as you know. So um, this is where you'll find everything. Um, you can uh, bypass your, for winterization, you can bypass your water heater. Don't have to worry about that. I should mention on that outside shower as well, mm -hmm. we've got isolation uh, valves. So oh, if you nice. winterize your whole unit, mm -hmm. you can I then isolate those valves. Mm -hmm. And then you could reintroduce water uh, back into your camper if, if you uh, wanted to, and mm -hmm. not have to worry about that freezing outside when nice. you're in travel mode. But all aluminum uh, latches, uh, the starboard doors, plastic, um, we don't use any wood for this stuff. Uh, this is where you would put uh, the porta potty normally. Exactly, right? yeah. Porta potty storage or whatever else you want to use. Mm -hmm. Just additional storage because we know storage is hard. Uh, on our website, this one doesn't have it, but we've also got some soft storage. We teamed up with Red Ox out of uh, Montana. Mm -hmm. uh, we developed some really nice soft storage elements. They store here in travel mode and then they come up above the galley and also in various other locations in the camper so when you're using them and that's everything from mm -hmm. storing frying pans to cutlery to mm -hmm. bowls uh, plates tumblers coffee cups spatulas you name it so basically anywhere there's a flat surface you could store stuff if you Absolutely. if you wanted to yeah. Yeah, that's cool and it's really nice and then we've yeah. also got some roll-up bags for clothing so mm -hmm. um, you can actually hang them up wherever 
uh, it's a it's fantastic. So if you're you're on the trails uh, for a week long trip or whatever, and you need to pop into uh, say you pop into a KOA or something like that, just to get a real shower, all that stuff, mm -hmm. do some laundry. You got the roll up bag. Off you go into the laundromat. There yeah. you go. So nice. this one here is showing the uh, fridge, the portable fridge at the rear. It actually, this is something that BBO has done. Uh, ours actually, we have uh, an area here. So you got your charge port right here, and it actually sits here. So for 2022, the we can also uh, optionally we can retrofit this with a 65 liter Dometic fridge, mm -hmm. compressor style fridge. Same surfaces as what you'd see inside the camper. Aluminum, powder coated the same, and it sits right here. It takes mm -hmm. up this space. So if you're, if you're, uh, if you got you got your shoe storage under here, which is really oh, yeah. nice. Kick your feet. You don't have your shoes in the aisle. Throw them underneath. Table comes down, forms another bed, 30, 38 inches wide by 65 inches with these cushions down, mm -hmm. which is really nice. 2022. We've got a gurney style bunk. It's actually gonna come off of here. So if you've got a small child, mm -hmm. you're gonna really like this. You're gonna really appreciate that. So you got the gurney style. Nice. If you're not using it, you roll it up, throw it under the mattress or on top of the mattress for the daytime. You don't have to worry about it. That would be me. I have three kids. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be doing right. that. Oh, they love this. Yeah. They, they would love this. So uh, king bed extension as well. This one here has got it. So all you're doing is you're lifting up the platform. You lift it up, you slide it forward. And it actually locks into this slot here and this slot here. Nice. Locks right into place. So that's actually a king bed as we're looking at it now? Queen. It's a queen, but yeah. you can make it bigger? You can make it bigger. Oh, so you okay. can actually sleep north south. Nice. Yeah. I like it. It's really nice. So if you've got a small child, mm -hmm. husband, wife up top, small mm -hmm. child there, two more kids down here, one in a bunk, one down here, or two down. Yeah, you got lots of You room. can fit them. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I'll let you come in here. You can just kind of pan around and take a look. Mm -hmm. uh, this one's got uh, set up with two fans. It only comes with one fan. The second mm -hmm. one would be optional. Our windows, acrylic windows. Uh, everything's Velcro, so you can adjust it. You can you can just roll these up and adjust them to whatever height you want by back rolling them. Mm -hmm. So they're up. You just keep rolling them down to whatever opening position you want. Nice. So. More storage? Oh, even more storage. Yeah. Nice. Access to your tie downs, uh -huh. which are the torque lift Derringer latches, mm -hmm. spring loaded, because you want the camper to move on the trails. No. Right? You don't want everything fixed. Once the Derringer latches are set, there's jam nuts, top bottom, mm -hmm. they're set once. You don't have to readjust them. Nice. They pin, they lock. Under here, this is a pull out tray. This is where your batteries live. Mm -hmm. And then underneath this seat, 20 gallon fresh water tank. The water pump, all that stuff is down here. Nice, 20 gallons. Yeah, oh, that's pretty good. If you want to add an inverter, you can go into here, behind this cover plate here. Mm -hmm. In this case, they've elected to put it underneath here. Mm -hmm. Completely out of sight, out of mind. Works well. I just noticed um, there's kind of like a gauge for your water too. You can kind of oh. see it right there. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good point. So you can't see it because it's really light out, but we, we backlit this. There's a momentary switch right here. Mm -hmm. And then you can actually see the level. Yeah, I could actually see it. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty smart. Well, no one <laughs> comes in handy. Right? Yeah. Kiss, keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. Exactly. Yeah. Less than, fewer things to go wrong. Another thing I noticed too is um, this is a beefy screen door. I mean, it is. It, so that, your kids, they hit this, <laughs> yeah. right? They're not going to break it. Yeah. But, or your dogs or whatever. But yeah. check this out like brass uh, flyaway, brass bushings. In here, like this is a really, really nice door setup. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. So. And then, yeah, that's your stopper, little socket. Yeah, yeah. Of course, the want to go up and on top of the camper for whatever reason, access whatever. That so, comes if you order the roof rack. These steps come standard with it. It um, looks these, like these guys have just added it to it. I would probably need these just to hit the to get the uh, locks to undo because I'm not tall enough to reach well, it. Well, <laughs> yeah, so this one here, you know, yeah. it's, a, it's a lifted truck. Ken yeah. would be able to talk more about the chassis on this particular one, yeah. but it's lifted, sitting on, what, 37s? Mm -hmm. yes, yes, yeah, yes. so it's, it's uh, it, yeah, it makes things a little bit taller. Yeah, so. that's a beautiful truck, by the way. Yeah. It is, it's really nice. Yeah. This is this is something new. You've, you've, you've never seen this one before. All right, let's dive into this one. This so. is the prototype Camp Amp. 
So this is for the smaller trucks, the mid-sized trucks. Mid-sized right. trucks and or full-size trucks with a five and a half foot box. Or oh, okay. for the payload challenged tundras. Mm -hmm. This fits the crew max like mm -hmm. nobody's business. It is perfect for a crew max. All you crew max guys oh, out there, man. this is the one. That's right. You don't have to abandon <laughs> yeah. the crew max. You can go with this. The only caveat is this is a two person. Wow. It's a different floor plan sure. than what you have here. This will actually fit a few. Mm -hmm. So on this particular one, all the same same construction. So there's some things missing like the door lip, the door latch. It's a prototype. I didn't have time to put that stuff on. Mm -hmm. We're actually the production units now. The production unit is 975 pounds. I didn't mention the weight on that one, did I? No. 13, uh, 13 10. 13. 10. 13 10. Yeah. That's dry weights. That That's pretty light. Here, so. That's pretty light. Yeah. So the tray itself uh, without. All right. So this is on a five, like I'm on the Ranger crew cab right now, mm -hmm. which has its challenges, right? The Ranger crew cab, mm -hmm. five foot box. Tiny. Tiny. Mm -hmm. So this floor on this one is five foot eight. You're six foot eight on the Camp X full size. Mm -hmm. So if you have the Super Cab Ranger or Tacoma, you're with a six foot box. That's money. That's fantastic because mm -hmm. the the um, center of gravity right now is just slightly behind the center of axle on the rear, which is an ideal. Mm -hmm. And I knew that building this. So I, I the the good folks at ARB uh, with um, they uh, worked with us and, and set us up with an old man emu kit, and we went with the heavy duty springs. We also did some work on the front as well, but uh, it handles this camper like a dream the production unit as i said is 975 uh, pounds dry weight but the nice thing about this camper also is that we knew uh, we're going to have some challenges with the mid-size market trucks mm -hmm. so we tried to put as much weight forward as possible so underneath the table there is and you'll probably see this on your way back out but underneath the table is your water tank is your are your batteries your water pump all that stuff. So we're keeping all that weight low and to the front. Nice. Right? So now once you, you load up and put uh, 200 pounds of water in here, then the dynamics change a little bit in your favor, right? Uh, this particular one has got, um, this particular one has got a fold up. It's a countertop, so you actually take the lid. We take the lid here, bring it up. Pin it, and down she comes. Oh, now you got that. your extendable uh, countertop, which is an optional item. Nice. So, yeah, so it actually works pretty decently. Like a little transformer. Yeah. Yeah, go go gadget. So, it works pretty good. Again, this is a prototype. Yeah, prototype. Prototype. So, that goes the cushions. And then this one has also got. It's not a queen bed to standard because we're actually a narrow cabin, mm -hmm. much more narrower than the camp X. So we've actually got to do, um, let me see if I can give you some space. It's here. not too bad. I mean, in terms of, in terms of width, um, where are we here? In terms of width, your internal dimension, 72.75 inches wide. Mm -hmm. So you can sleep east, west, depending yeah. on your height. I'm but, 72 inches, so I can sleep there, technically. But if you want, she's off. What you can do is bring this all the way out. And it's showing. You bring your other cushion so grab, down. Grab, go ahead and grab it and we'll show them. There we go. So for such a tiny camper, that's a very big, big bed for a small camper. Very big. Yeah. It's nice. I like that. I've been using this camper all <laughs> summer and uh, it, I've really enjoyed it. I wasn't sure if I would enjoy it because mm -hmm. of its size mm -hmm. but it's a lot bigger than you think yeah yeah so um yeah we're we're really happy with the way it turned out and the same features mm -hmm. you know same windows same soft wall same mm -hmm. uh thermal uh, foam to interrupt the thermal path which makes sense i mean you guys are from canada yep. so you guys got a lot of cold weather so might as well make it all you gotta do thermal. it right you gotta do it right so um I'll let you have a look over here. So this one does not come with the cooktop inside, as I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. But you can bring your cooktop portable inside. So you got a hose connection here, propane hose connection, mm -hmm. and then you can actually put your, your propane inside here. Do your cooking. Yeah, exactly. I uh, got a little more storage here. Missing from this is the state of charge. So the production models will have a Victron 
mm -hmm. uh, state of charge. But, you know, lots of charging ports. Uh, we got some new switches here, which are really quite nice. We like those. And then a little bit more storage underneath. We try to maximize storage mm -hmm. everywhere that we can. Nice. So it's nice, actually, for myself, my barbecue, um, my uh, two burner cooktop, it all fits right here. Got some footman loops down here. I just strap everything right in here. It's perfect. Keep all the weight forward. It's really quite nice. Very nice. I like the fact that this table moves around anywhere you need it to. The lagoon table. Yeah. So yeah. if I'm not out, if I'm not out, my, my, if my wife's not joining me, I just take this. This is how this is actually sitting all the time. Yeah. Just like this, and uh, it doesn't move from this position. Gives me nice. lots of access up onto the bed. Mm -hmm. That sort of thing. Very cool. But a very nice little camper. And again, it works for the full size trucks as well for the guys that have the five and a half foot mm -hmm. box. It's not just restricted to the mid size. Yeah, I have a friend. Uh, he has a big Ram and he's a hunter. Yep. And he's been looking at pop tops because he only he goes out with him and his wife to go hunting. Yep. But the wife needs creature comforts. Yes. And I'm sure that a lot of those hunters love this cabin on wheels, oh, basically. Sure. It's like a hunting cabin on it, wheels. It's perfect. And, you know, mm -hmm. for such a small cabin, it's mm -hmm. really spacious. Yeah. And the nice thing, yeah. like I've just got the little, uh, this little Dometic in here, mm -hmm. uh, just bringing down for trade shows. Don't have the big fridge in here. Mm -hmm. But nice thing about the big fridge, it's another working surface as well. Oh, that's right. Yeah, right? yeah. So it, it blocks, you get into a bigger fridge because they're typically taller. Mm -hmm. So it's going to block the window. But mm -hmm. at the same time, that's not so bad. Yeah, because it's a give and take. You're, you're, you're sitting up quite high anyway, so you don't. You, it's not like you're down like this anyhow. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's not so bad. It's not, you still get that crosswind, mm -hmm. which is really nice. Yeah. But now, does it come standard with just the, the one fan, right? Because it's such a small. Do, they all come standard just with the one fan. Yeah. Probably with this size, you don't, probably don't need to, I don't think. I mean, really, it right? It depends on where you're at. Yeah. Geographically. Okay. If you're in the high humidity, area, high humidity areas, lots of guys like, lots of folks like to do the push pull mm -hmm. rather than just cracking the window. Mm -hmm. But in Canada, I mean, we typically don't get really hot summers. Yeah. So one fan for us up there looks just beautiful. Well, this is kind of a nice demonstration of how cool it is in here because we're getting baked out here, if you guys don't know. <laughs> oh, I mean, it, there's no, there's no trees. Nothing. And um, it's cool in here. It it's is. actually pretty cool in it here. Is. I, you yeah. know, I, I wish I had a thermometer. And for flag stuff, maybe yeah. that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll <laughs> have a thermometer in here just yeah. so you can actually see what's going on. But uh, it's uh, it's a it's a great little product. Uh, we're really proud of what we built. Yeah. Um, we got some exciting stuff coming up with our reintroducing our base camp. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we've never gone to production with our base camp. It's fixed. Pivoting, fully isolated mm -hmm. uh, to the chassis. It's non-removable. Uh, we got that. Nice. We got some big announcements coming up with that. Nice. Getting back to our summit production in 2023, so that's gonna be exciting. So there'll be some fun things to look forward to when I see you guys again. Yes. Yeah, so maybe I, something. We gotta get you and your family into Bunnings, yeah. man. Just for yeah. Just you guys just gotta take this out. Yeah. Beat it up. Yeah. That'd Beat be it awesome. Up and give me the feedback and put you yeah. yeah. Gotta do it. Come to Canada. Uh, uh, to reason just, to go. I'm just going to bring, uh, bring a rig down here for you. No, I, we want to go to Canada. Trust me. I want you to come if to I Canada tell my too. wife, let's go to Canada, she'll be like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> she'll, she'll, well, yeah. she'll, she definitely figure wants to make it happen. We'll yeah. figure it out. We're going to figure yeah. it out. What's the nearest national park for you guys? Oh, well, we got, we got yeah, tons, tons of them. Uh, so many. Yeah. Yeah. Banff National Park. Yeah. Banff that's right. National Park. Yeah. Uh, in Alberta. I mean, yeah. then you get into British Columbia. And that is, yeah. it's beautiful as well. We'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. Yeah. Cool. You, you'll get lost there. You'll just you'll be off the grid. <laughs> right on. <laughs> so Thanks, so wait. Um, before okay. we go, uh, yeah. before we go, I know guys are already drooling. Yeah. And they want to know how much and then where to get them. Okay. All right. So we've got seven dealers in the United States. We're basically mm -hmm. on every geographical corner of the USA now. Mm -hmm. um, we've got here in in uh, Frederick, Colorado. Mm -hmm. we've got our good friends uh, Ken with a Boulder vehicle. Uh, Mm -hmm. Boulder Vehicle, Boulder, Boulder Vehicle Outfitters, but now Outfitters. it's BVO Adventure Vehicle. That's what BVO it is. Adventure Vehicle. I always watch that. Yeah. 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 So they changed it on me. Gotcha. So. But uh, nonetheless, uh, you, you can talk to any one of our dealers. They're all a fantastic resource for information. Mm -hmm. As far as pricing goes, um, we haven't really started to announce the 2022 pricing just yet. Yeah. But uh, I can, I can, I can certainly let that. So the with. best way to really get pricing is to just call you guys, contact you guys, really. Con contact us. Uh, uh -huh. you know, we personally, our shop still has some inventory coming in for New York on a current mm -hmm. price. 
and then mm -hmm. we're gonna have a slight price increase coming up. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, so you're about, so on something like this, base, mm -hmm. Camp M, yeah. you're starting just under 39. This, you're starting around 43. Mm -hmm. Trays are just over 12. Mm -hmm. uh, huge bees, they're starting at 63. They got a lot of different features though sure. as well. Uh, on the HB, and then the base camp. Can't say anything about that just yeah. yet. We'll we'll talk about that yeah. when we get to it, right? Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Nice. Thanks, man. It's I'm glad you popped by. Yeah, thank you for the awesome tour of your amazing. Like I said, probably the toughest truck campers ever made. Yeah, I appreciate it's awesome, that. Awesome, man. We we honestly we feel they are like they, they are they're a fantastic product. Let, let's uh. It'll last you a long time. I know it'll last you three, four, five generations probably. Yeah. yeah. What's gonna fail? Yeah. You're gonna replace your cushions. Mm -hmm. uh, you might end up replacing the soft wall down the road. Uh, your, your your heaters. Mm -hmm. Things like that. The shell itself, it's like a, how did I put that last time we talked about it? It's like a radioactive uh, isotope. Mm -hmm. right? It's, it's, the half, it's, it's going to live for years and mm -hmm. years and years and years. And if you need anything done, you just bring it to the dealers, right? These guys yeah. take care of everything. Nice. Everything. Your battery selection, uh, if they want to add some switches here, mm -hmm. um, another charging port here, whatever. You need help with your suspension. You need mm -hmm. uh, whatever. These guys are, Find this the is dealers. what they do. They're experts at it. Nice. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's end it with um, contact info. Absolutely. Uh, websites? Yeah. Uh, Overlandex.com. That's how you're going to get a hold of us, the manufacturer in Canada. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, uh, on our website, there's a dealer uh, search uh, tab there where you can actually find all of our links to all of our dealers. Okay. It goes right to their individual websites. Awesome. Mm -hmm.